Well, first of all, you know, for me, um, I, I'm a blessed man. There's a lot of people that have that have lost uh, loved ones. There's a lot of people that have lost houses, lost vehicles, and um, so you know, it's a uh, it's been a been a tough tough time for a town. You know that I've only been in for three months, uh, but uh, you know it's 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 real encouraging to see the all the volunteers out and all the help provided and the and positive attitudes and uh, um, you know that's that's been the encouraging part of it. Absolutely. And I can only imagine how chaotic it, it is for you. I mean, you just moving into a town three months ago and then, you know, here you are, you know, you're still getting to know your team and, you know, having to coach them through, you know, a time like this. And I'm sure, you know, the players on the team have had, you know, love or they, they know of someone that has lost something, whether it be someone close to them or, or property or whatnot, you know, just what, what do you tell them during a time like this? And especially just for you, just, you know, just coming into this situation. Yeah, that, that's been tough. But, you know, I, I keep going back to, um, you know, God put me here for a time such as this and um, he'll see me through. It's not the first adversity I've faced in my life. And, and I'm thankful for those experiences and, and my faith will, will see me through. But I've just tried to be encouraged. First thing I try to do is reach out to all, as many of the kids as I could get a hold of um, and the coaches and, um, you know, try to get a little chain going around. And of course, that was that took quite a while because um, some didn't have service, some you know, were out of contact with their parents. Some had houses that were damaged. Some had vehicles that were damaged. Uh, But thank God, you know, they were, you know, as far as we know, everyone was okay, Uh, especially high school. I haven't been able to get a hold of all the junior high, seventh grade, et cetera. But, um, you know, as far as the high school, encouraged by that. And, uh, you know, we have a theme every day, and our theme on Monday is win, and it stands for what's important now. And, I've just tried to voice that to as many of them as I can. Hey, coach, what about the season? Hey, coach, what about spring ball? Hey, coach, what about lifting? Hey, coach, what about school? And hey, guys, I don't know. I don't know. But what's important now is we're alive. And um, let's help our neighbors. You know, this is a great community that supports win football tremendously. And now's the time for us to to step up and, and support it. Absolutely. And, and as you've mentioned, just talking about that community and, you know, how have you seen the community just band together over the past, you know, not not even 24 hours, just and even today, just what have you been seeing out there? Oh, it's overwhelming. It's, uh, you know, there are a bunch of doers, a bunch of givers, you know, and I, somebody told me the other day, and I think it holds true that uh, there's just something about people that work putting their hands in the dirt. Uh, they're caring, they're, they're, they're used to working, they're doers, they're volunteers. And, um, you know, of course, we appreciate all the people that have come in from out of town as well. But, uh, you know, tremendous support, tremendous help, um, just, um, um, you know, binding together. You know, you'd, you'd like to sit in the corner and uh, wish it away, uh, but you see a lot of people out trying to do something about it. And, and there again, do what's important right now and just pick up, piece up, pack up and uh, see what tomorrow holds. Absolutely. And I know as, as a coach, I mean, moments like this or, you know, I, I feel like in a way they, they do a lot to band people together and, you know, as, as a team, as a, you know, as a community and whatnot, too. And, you know, what, what do you hope the team, you know, not only take away out of this, but just even in these moments, I'm sure that they're in it as well, just helping, you know, the, the people around them. Well, that's huge. You know, I've always said this. We're all going to meet the maker one day, the God Almighty, my God Almighty. And, and he's not going to ask how many games we won, but he's going to ask uh, how many how many lives we touched, how many lives we molded. And there's nothing like adversity. It's it's eerie. I was, uh, you know, with my ninth grade yesterday morning, and uh, I was getting after them pretty good because we were doing a little new lift, and they were complaining about their wrist. And I was running over there to get water instead of help their buddy with their set. And, um you know, I was just giving them that very talk. Hey, guys, y'all think this is hard, man. Life's hard. Adversity is going to come in your life. Tough things are going to come in your life. And if you're going to grab your wrist and go over and set it by the water cooler, it's going to be a rough life for you. So little did I know that in less than 24 hours, uh, uh, some of them are facing a lot of adversity, you know. But uh, they're, you know, I've got a lot of texts. They're out helping their neighbor, helping this. Some's been around the school helping, you know, scattered scattered around and uh It'll sure make you get out of yourself and, uh, you know, be conscious of others, which is a, a great, great life lesson. Absolutely. And you, you mentioned to me that you're kind of working around the school today. Just what, what has that been like? What have you been seeing out there? 
Uh, a lot of help there. You know, it's uh, pretty overwhelming. Of course, really what I've done there is trivial compared to what some people are doing. I, I went over to the neighborhood, had some friends there that uh, lost their house and was trying to help pack there and then go back and forth to the school. And, of course, um, uh, you know, trying to get stuff out of my office because I'm, you know, I'm sure they're fixing to perimeter the school is what I've been told. So getting anything out of there that I might need, uh, you know, we were we were in the process of boarding up some uh, windows there around the school and uh, run some stream around, you know, to keep, you know, keep people from pilfering and looting and, um, you know, uh, there on the campus because there are still some some things that we're trying to protect there. Absolutely. And just looking at, um, you know, the facility as a whole, I mean, obviously, I mean, just looking at the, you know, the drone footage, I mean, the first thing you notice is the football field, uh, you know, to me. And then just kind of in the background, you see all of the the damage and you see all of that. And, you know, and, and as you mentioned, you don't really think about, you know, again, what you're stressing your team is what's important now and whatnot. But, you know, what what have you seen just as far as like, you know, not only the football facilities, but just the high school and just, you know, maybe some of the damages that you've noticed kind of right off the bat? To be honest, until you walk it, it's – um pretty devastating i mean it's pretty overwhelming um, you know things where you like i said i've only been here three three months but um you know places where it meant so much so many people so many good memories so many tough things and it just wiped out from under you you know and just think about we were out there running on that turf and then you just walk out there and it's just rolled up i mean it looks like something just like a machine did it and uh you know the parts of the bleachers are wrapped around the water tower over on the practice field and um you know, just it's just pretty overwhelming. You see pieces of wood; they're just staked down through that turf into the rocks and parts of the press box. We see parts of it, we don't know where they're at. There's there's turf. The neighborhood I was over there helping in, um, there's actually turf up in a tree there. It's probably oh, I don't know, three quarters of a mile, mile from the stadium. Um, you know, there's softballs up and down that road. Uh, you know, just stuff scattered everywhere, and um, it's a uh, it's it's. It's pretty, uh, pretty overwhelming. No doubt. And then, you know, just the, the night of as well. And, you know, just how crazy of a day that was. I mean, I, I was, you know, at home watching, you know, the watching Ryan and, and the crew just, you know, talk about, you know, what they're seeing on the ground and whatnot. Just what was that night like for you? And then just, you know, kind of what were some of the first things you did after realizing, like, okay, I'm okay. You know, now I got to, now, now I need to check in with the team. Well, you know, this, this, the, first of all, you know, man, I applaud our administration. You know, they, they turned out school at one thirty, and they're, they're a caring bunch. And I, I actually was an ISS, give the ISS later a break at lunch. And um, I had two different principals come over there and say, Hey coach, are you going back? Cause I'm still transitioning. My daughter's graduating. You know, my family is still in rising during, during the week until my daughter graduates. Are you going back to rising? tonight and I said yeah I'm gonna leave after school and I said well as soon as I assess is overhead that way and you know I told I said I'm not I'm not really scared of storms I've got a lot of things I need to do I was watching film in fact at that time and, and uh, Miss Westbrook coming there she said hey I'm not trying to be bossy but you get your tail in your truck and you get to rising so I left about 12 30 actually so uh they let out school 1 30 so our, our we wasn't gonna we weren't gonna have our senior high boys yesterday so then by the time I got home, you know, I was ahead of it. And then it's, well, not long after I got home, I started getting messages from players, videos from coaches. And, um, you know, so then I kind of felt helpless because here I am two and a half hours away. And so we got up, come back this morning and, uh, you know, tried to jump in and help out as we can. Absolutely, Coach. Well, well, I won't take up too much more of your time, but is there anything else that uh, you'd like to add or anything I might have forgotten to mention or, you know, anything that, that you'd, you'd like to say? Well, you know, hey, I, we certainly appreciate all the people that reached out to us. Some of them we haven't been able to get back to. Um, but, um, you know, we're, we're very humbled by that. Appreciate all the people that have volunteered. Appreciate our people here in our town. You know, the good people here. Appreciate our administration, coaches out there working, our kids out there working. Got some good kids, good people. And we serve a good God. You know, this is a, fail, this is a, a failed world. Um, and I know there's some people that are hurting and have lost some things. but um, we know he's in control. That's right, Coach. Well, 